Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are diving into a new application called Able. This is a first impression video, so if you're new to the channel I haven't actually tested out the application before this. I This one is a little different because I tested it out when it was in alpha and I talked to the team and I gave some feedback and I played around with it for a few weeks. Then I honestly just forgot about it. A lot of things has been happening in my life, uh, a lot of family stuff. Uh, then they reached out again and asked if I wanted to check out the beta. That was this year, so the alpha was last year. And honestly, I just haven't gotten to it. Uh, but that is what we are going to do in this video. We are going to get to it and actually test out the application. It is called Able. I will do a full review on it quite soon. This one uh, will be out, the full review will be out two or three days or a week after this uh, first impression video because this is an application I am excited about. Unfortunately there is no dark mode, I should have said that before switching screens. Uh, let's create a new vault so it seems like I can use my markdown files or I can create a new one so let's call this a bull vault uh, and I can uh, pick a place to have it so let's just place it in our downloads folder uh, that's where I mainly place things and here you have the application so it seems like we have a library an inbox and a view um Inbox, I guess things you capture will be inside of here. This looks like a search bar, uh, so I can create new pages. Let's say I wanted to create a resources page. So what I can do here, I can search for resources. I can create a new page. I can create a new folder. Let's try creating a new folder. Um, and let's try to put things inside of the folder. If I press this, my guess is that I will have a folder within that folder. I can right click and I can delete it everywhere. What does this button do? It gives me a new view. We will get back to views later. Uh, and my guess is that this creates a page within a page. So I can create pages within pages. I can have, um, I can even have uh, folders within uh, a page and folders within a folder and pages within a folder. But this is underneath my inbox. Can I move it away from my inbox? It seems like I can. Because currently I have the inbox folder, which this lives under. Can I move it? Uh, can I do a right click and move it? Let's move to... So it doesn't seem like I can move it to elsewhere. Let's try one more time. Let's create one called... we. Let's just call it this one uh, test just for the sake of getting it done uh, and now so it seems like they end up in my inbox anyway which is a little weird I should be able to like get it out of my inbox but I'm not sure how you do that uh, you can move it but there is no other place to move it what happens if I do that was the wrong button let's close that. What happens if I now create plus and then I do Y? What does it create when I... It seems like it creates a web page when I press the plus button. Let's try to create a new folder. Can I do backslash? I can't, it doesn't seem like I can write in here. Let's just create a new folder called this test folder. Again, uh, opening up things. Uh, let's call this test folder. So test folder. Then what happens if I now move my resources into my test folder? So it isn't anywhere. It is in my inbox. Uh, still, can I move this out of my inbox? It doesn't seem like I can move it out of my inbox. That will be something I will have to get back to. What happens if I click here? It doesn't do anything. So I have library and I have inbox. If I click the library, I can see what happens if I create it here. So this seems to work, but does it still place it underneath the inbox? Doesn't seem like it. If I double click and I call this resources, resources, uh, not sure, probably didn't spell it right. Uh, didn't spell it right at all, but uh, that is not something I'm worrying about in this video. What happens if I now drag it underneath? Does it? It doesn't work. 
What happens if I right click and move it to resources? Failed to move content. So it is supposed to work. Let's go ahead and delete this test folder, delete everywhere. Let's go. Uh, so it deletes it from your uh, system. Let's go. Doesn't want to delete. That isn't a problem. This is like this is version 0 0.1. Uh, so this is a version where you should expect a lot of bugs. Uh, now I think it's deleted. If I do yes again, so uh, it prompts me to um, the same thing you get like when I press delete everywhere. This this pops up again. That's why the screen went black. So that seems to be part of trying to delete uh, things. Let's try views. I think views are important here. Uh, let's call this test view. Uh, drag and drop search content. Um, so let's add this. Uh, this is supposed to have some website stuff too. So let's do uh, um, let's do fall outfits, for example. Uh, when I tested this out, I actually was really into fashion. Oh, I hate this stuff. I never get it right. Confirm. Uh, so here you have fall outfits. And what I would do is that I would probably uh, use Pinterest and I would add things into here but can i do that uh, so i can download it i can save it what happens if i press save doesn't do anything uh, so my question is how do i get images from here into into my like into my uh workspace how do i do that content successfully linked so resources is now linked to test view, but that we have already seen. Can I drag this? So now the website is under here, uh, but it just seems like it creates sort of a folder um, where I have um, multiple different things like web pages, and I would call it a project folder. That is probably what I would call it. Let's add the test folder here. Let's actually uh, drag this fall outfits into here instead. Can I put it underneath the folder? It doesn't seem like I can do that. Um, so it feels a little weird, uh, but underneath these folders, like I think I should be able to do more stuff here. I think I should be able to save stuff into, into, uh, these views, I think that is important. So I now I think I've got it. So if I open up the test folder and let's say I wanted a new page, uh, so let's call this fashion inspiration, the fashion inspo. Um, and I wanted to have this next to it. If I press this button here, I drag things onto here. Still doesn't seem like it is working, but I can at least see uh, both of the tabs at the same time. Can I add another tab? Doesn't seem like I can add another one. Uh, it seems like you can have two tabs. Um, and here I can do backslash. This is like the note taking experience inside of here. Uh, so you have images, you have divider, to do list, headings. My guess is that it works with Markdown as well. It probably should because it saves everything as Markdown files on your device. So I'm not sure what I why I had to check that. Uh, but I think this application looks interesting. I'm just not quite figuring it out. Uh, so the team behind the application actually sent me a YouTube video as well. So I will check that out and there will be like a full review of this application and maybe even a tutorial quite soon. Uh, I think I like the idea if it is, uh, if it is what I think it is, um, the idea of having like multiple workspaces with folders and notes and web pages in one place, if that's the idea, I think I like it, but uh, it has to be able to like clip web pages. So uh, the application I would like say is similar to this is probably cosmic based on the idea of the application or what I know about it. Uh, but this seems a little hard to understand. So as I said, I will 
try to figure it out and come back with a tutorial review style video. So stay tuned for that. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. I'm always happy for new subscribers to join the channel. And uh, as usual, thank you so, so much for watching today's video.